What's going on YouTube, it's What's the Hype back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing the top 5 New Balance models, in my opinion, currently that's out on the market. If you do enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like, it helps me out. Subscribe if you'd like to see similar videos in the future. Thank you guys for watching, let's get it. So up first is the 550. This was brought back by ALD. I currently have the green and yellow pair in my sneaker rotation. I wear these a lot. It's a super comfortable shoe. I kind of compare them to like the New Balance version of an Air Force One. They get the same kind of look off, the same chunkiness, comfortability, all that. And they've since led to different collabs that I've really enjoyed. I think what's nice about this shoe is it looks good with a lot of different things. You can easily style these and the GR colorways are also really nice so for a hundred bucks you can get a really good shoe up next we have the 992 this is easily the most comfortable pair of shoes i have the classic gray colorway known for being worn by steve jobs are super clean as well as out of all new balance models i think the 992s have been the best with collaborations there's just so many different colorways different materials and when you're wearing new balance or buying new balance you know that the craftsmanship is going to be there so you're never let down by this model Similar to the 550, something really underrated about the 992 is that it has really great general release colors. The classic gray you can't go wrong with, but like those yellows and purples just super clean. Obviously you have great collabs with this shoe and since it's so comfortable, you want to wear it all the time so the wearability is really nice on these. In my third place I have the 2002R which has gained some hype recently with the Salehi Bemberry collaboration as well as the New Balance protection pack and rightfully so I think it's a really clean model and both of those were really nice colorways or different iterations of the shoe. The New Balance protection pack all three of those I really like and it's just a nice comfortable easy to style shoe so you can't go wrong with it. The color blocking looks really good on a lot of pairs and it has really good collaborations bait being one of those as well so I think the shoe does have a lot of really good potential to kind of pop off and gain more popularity the J crew collaboration another collab on the shoe that's been kind of underrated that colorway you saw was based on a model of the 997 that Kanye used to wear a lot as well as the other tan purple and blue colorway that was really clean kind of similar to the Joe fresh goods uh, 990s but definitely a really nice model now the next model we have the XC72, definitely an underrated model but I think it is kind of on the rise lately. Their Casablanca collab was super clean, both colorways pretty cool. And what I like about this model is it seems New Balance has been a lot more experimental with their color blocking and colorways. I'm definitely down to see more of that, hopefully with this model as well as new models in the future because I think the materials they've been using as well as like I said the color blocking just looks really really nice on a lot of these shoes and makes them stand out. In my opinion what's most impressive about this model from New Balance is it has a nice futuristic look without being too crazy, maybe like a 450 from Yeezy where it's definitely still super wearable, but you can tell it's different and it stands out. Now to finish off the video, we have my last pick, the New Balance 827. And after this, I also have some honorable mentions, but I think this is a really clean shoe that is kind of looked down upon and not really used in many different collaborations that I've seen. Stray Rats and Ame Leon Dor being the two big ones, but it's a really clean shoe in my opinion. I think it has a nice kind of level of chunkiness as well as sleekness in the design. So it's definitely wearable. It looks super comfortable. I actually, I have tried on a pair. They are comfortable. Uh, they look clean. They can be styled easily. I'm not sure why more brands haven't tried to collab on this model. Finishing off the video, we have honorable mentions. Up first, we have the 650. Now, ALD has brought back this model, and I'm really excited for this. I pre-ordered a pair of the gray ones, and I think this is a really cool shoe. I like how it looks a lot. I know some people don't, but I think the high top nature of the New Balance just looks really cool as you don't see it too often as well as we have the 997. Again, an interesting shoe. I think the way they split up the panels looks really nice. I'm not sure why we don't see more of these. Different collaborations could be really cool. The Todd Snyder color blocking is really nice. And then lastly, we have the 990, both V1 through V5, and we've already seen the V6 from Teddy Santos. So I think this is gonna be a really good shoe. I think there'll be good collabs, but for some reason, the 990 just doesn't hit for me. Uh, I think it's really the shape wise. I know they're comfortable. I've tried them on but they're nice but like I said just for some reason there's something about them that I don't like to put them in my top five top 10 models yes and I know people are going to be shocked that this isn't like number one or like 
one of my favorites of all time, but I just don't love the shoe. Thank you guys so much if you made it towards the end of the video. Let me know down below in the comments what's your top 5 New Balance models or what did you think about my list. Is there something you would take out or add? Let me know. As always, make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe if you are new and thanks for watching. Peace!